Alright, today I'm going to talk about how to have a healthy community. I've been seeing a certain group of people being blacklisted by some of the guilds and stronger people and not trying to bring them in because they are too laggy in ping or FPS. Look, you guys were once a noob and some of you might be a solo player until you find a strong cube. <laughs> That's when you start to progress and get better at yourself. But this certain group of people probably has lesser IQ and more EQ than you do. Why make yourself toxic by pulling people down even they are trying hard? to clear a rip. If you are able to help your friend, want to help the rest. The community keeps on falling down because lesser and lesser people are getting help from strangers like you. Every day, I spend so much merits trying to world chat for a priest, for a knight, DPS, and also the channel chat because I'm just trying to help the rest. Not just my guild. If you think I'm just trying to carry my guild here, then you're probably not looking at a full picture. Why would I even bother inviting the rest? Like low DPS, non mechanically strong, unsophisticated player to my so called trap party. And then I see some of the outsiders coming to my Discord server and tell me that their guild won't bring them because of time zone issues and they are too inexperienced you tell me who's toxic now the one trying to get blamed for helping the rest of the players and keeping the community healthier by spreading knowledge to each other or the one trying to shame people and tell people this plan is true if it could be nice and try to help the rest of the players not all but just a few would even do a good to all help you help me sometimes you just need to lend a helping hand and stretch it out to some random person and tell that random person after he learned this spread this to somebody else and continue and that's how you have a healthy community guys I feel bad for people who can't do it.